Buckle up. Gold and silver is ready to explode. We're going to talk about new target prices for gold and silver. But first, I have a question for you. And by the way, this is Rapid Updates. My name is Rapid. Thanks for being on this video. Try to keep things short and to the point here. So if you like that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe and like this video. But first, I have a question for you. Let's see if you can get this answer correct. Comment below and place your answer. Which silver coin was manufactured first? A, the silver eagle, B, the silver maple leaf, or C, the silver Krugerrand? Place your answer down below, and at the end of this video, we will see if you are correct. Currently, right now, the silver price is 28 point one five our gold price today is eighteen sixty eight point two zero will we see nineteen hundred value for gold Bubba Horowitz says in this article, gold and silver have broken out of their consolidation pattern and are running higher. This could be just the birth of the next big move. The price action has been bullish. Monday's big move up, especially in silver, indicates there is room to run higher. And we'd like to see that. And we've noticed this based on the silver squeeze and what the Reddit crowd has done. By the way, Reddit crowd, congratulations. You're just about to hit 80,000 members. Both medals are seeing some follow through this morning, moving higher towards the next target. We are looking for $1,900 june gold and 29 july silver but he goes on to say that he's being a little bit conservative he expects much higher but will only quote one level at a time and really that's how gold and silver moves they move on levels there's not this huge swings like you're seeing with cryptocurrency he goes on to say there's no point in making ridiculous call higher because these markets move in one level at a time and what i really like about how they're explaining this is if you looked at a gold chart or a silver chart we all have as investors they are walking up the stairs like a stair step pattern most bullish pattern you can ask for the only question left to answer is how many stories there are in this building this move could turn into a skyscraper and we would love to see that we never know how far a move will go so if you guys are gonna buy on the dips maybe the time is now so here's a chart from today May 18th. Look at this stair step fashion that you're seeing here. And then we got a little little hill going down and then back up. But we might see that stair step climb later on this afternoon. I thought this article was pretty fascinating. This is a decade long massive cup and handle formation right here. Since we last saw back in 86 I believe it was 86 when silver prices hit $50 and then 2011, excuse me, it was 1980 and then 2011 high was $50 and now, now it's the formation of a handle is forming. Price targets just released 2,500 gold and 50 silver, but the big surprise will be in mining stocks. They do talk about what junior mining stocks they are, like the GDX, the GDXJ, and the SIL. So buckle up. This is going to, to unleash gold and silver prices significantly higher. Well, what is exactly going to unleash gold and silver? And if you've probably heard, if you've been paying attention, it's called the Basel Three Rules. Is being introduced. There is a limit time, and this is around the end of June. European and Swiss bullion bank trading desks will find that there is a Penalty a rate of 15% on unallocated gold positions on the asset side of their balance sheet and the liability side, expecting properly hedged positions. They cannot use unallocated gold to fund any assets. This is going to be a problem over there, especially in these. The penalties of this new re regime will effectively remove them from trading both on the LBMA and on the COMEX. And how many banks are on the LBMA? 10 member banks what happened was a lot of these banks have been ignoring this basil or basil three that's coming and what's going to happen is it's going to force these banks into winding down their short positions on the comex so we'll have to wait and see you want to position yourself why are we seeing a rise in silver prices and what's happening is we have a weak dollar pushing silver to new highs. And this gentleman talks about it in this article and how the silver has been hitting all of the resistant points 
along the way. Based on the US dollar index declines below this level, heading towards the next support of 89.50, which will be bullish for silver and gold prices today. And we saw gold moving above the resistant price of 1865. So if you're into these resistant points, he talks about that in this article. I'll post this article down below in my description. Stick around for the answer to the silver quiz question. And it looks like the US dollar index, the Dixie, is at 89.83. You typed your answer down in the comments below. And here is the answer. Which silver coin was manufactured first? And the answer is A, the Silver Eagle was manufactured by the US Mint in 1986. Then it was the Silver Maple Leaf introduced in 1988. And while the Gold Krugerrand was one of the first sovereign coins ever produced, it was the Silver Krugerrand was manufactured in 2017 so there's your answer thanks for being on this video keep stacking we'll see you soon